Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Okay, well, that was really bad. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Will Khalili. Today we're gonna to be going through a Bill Miller's barbecue. So if you don't know what Bill Miller's is, Bill Miller's is a fast food barbecue place and I know that sounds kind of weird. Um, and I know that most people haven't heard of Bill Miller's and that's because Bill Miller locations are typically only in Central Texas. So if you're from San Antonio, from Corpus Christi, from Austin, Texas, you might've heard of Bill Miller's before. I think it's mostly really a San Antonio thing. Growing up in San Antonio, I just loved eating at Bill Miller's and I still love it. And actually that's where we are right now. It's right behind me. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the drive-thru and get my favorite plate so you guys can see sort of what they offer. If you guys are ever in the central Texas region, I highly recommend you stop by Bill Miller's and get some food. Although it is sort of like a fast food place, I can tell you from experience, um, from working there actually, that their food is all fresh. I know I sound like a, like a spokesperson or something for Bill Miller. I just really like the place. That's why I thought for today's video, I would take you guys along with me. This won't be so much of a food review just because I'm not really a foodie myself. I tend to stick to what I know, but I will kind of walk you through what I order. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go through the drive-thru and get some food and some goodies and see what's up. I think Bill Miller only has maybe like 40 different locations throughout Texas. And even for some of my friends who I've met who are from different parts of Texas, they actually haven't heard of Bill Miller's either because it really, it very much is just a central Texas thing. What I love about Bill Miller also is that it has a weird, or I, I guess maybe weird isn't the, the right word, but it has an interesting mix of Tex-Mex slash barbecue style food. Like for example, they serve rice with their barbecue plate, which in some parts of Texas, it's not a thing to have that type of, to have rice with your barbecue, it's just not common. Um, they also have like pinto beans and, and whatnot. So, and of course they have the more common offerings like potato salad and hash browns. I think I'm gonna order a couple different sides so you guys can kind of get an idea of what the food looks like. Um, but I'm telling you guys, it is delicious. And I come here at least once a week, I've tried to cut back. There used to be a time in my life where I would come here every single day for, for breakfast and for lunch and sometimes even for dinner. And those days, you know, those days are long gone. That was a couple of years ago. I've definitely cut back on my diet since then, but that's how much I love it. I don't know what it is about the restaurant. I don't know if there's they're putting crack inside of the food or something, but it's just really good. Oh, can I go for you? Hi, um, can I get a number three with uh, the hash browns, the rice and the pinto beans? Yes, please. So what's the plan of first get hash browns, beans, and rice? Yes, please. And the drink? Can I get unsweet tea? No problem. Can I get anything else? Um, do you guys have peach cobbler? No, sorry, don't have any cobbler. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. So it was the plan of first get beans, hash browns, rice, and unsweet tea? Yes. It came out to 10 to 5 for me. Thank you. Okay. I am so sad they don't have the beach cobbler. Um, the peach cobbler is really good here as well. They don't have it this time, but I'm gonna come here later on and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. It is just just your standard peach cobbler, but there's something about it that just makes it delicious, so. Are you the number three with rice, cake, beans, rice, hash browns, and an unsweet tea? Yes. Okay, it's gonna be 10.55. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Alrighty, so let's find a place to park so we can eat. Alrighty guys, so we got our food. As you can see, it comes in this beautiful brown bag. I just love the sound of a brown bag opening up with lunch. I don't know what it is about that. I know it's random, but something about a brown, brown bag just makes me hungry. <laughs> Um, all right, so let me actually, I don't think I see any napkins in there. Oh, actually, there's some in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just place a napkin over 
my lap before I start eating in the car. But you do get this baggie with a bread roll and some disposable utensils and a napkin. When you eat at the restaurant, you typically have unlimited bread, but unlimited bread rolls that you can just grab from the bar along with a couple of other things like pickles, butter, salsa, other things. I can't remember everything that's on there, but since we are doing just drive through today, we are just getting one bread roll, so. And I also ordered an unsweet tea. Which is delicious. It's just your plain iced tea. So let's go ahead and take out the main entree. Boom, there you go. Let me open this up so you can actually see it. Oh, it's stripping. That's the only thing about eating in your car. It's kind of messy. But here you go, guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at, look at how beautiful the brisket looks. Look at how beautiful the rice, the hash browns, guys. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for the ha the hash browns, really kind of sealed the deal for me. There's something so beautiful about these hash browns, and of course the beans are also located right next to the brisket. So let's go ahead and dig in. So the brisket is so tender that you don't even really need to use a knife. It just kind of comes apart on its own. So let's go ahead and dig in. Just kind of mix this all together because it's just going in anyway. Are you guys, let me know in the comments below, do you guys mix your food before you eat it? Or do you kind of just eat it separately and then just let it mix inside of you? That sounds really weird, but let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about and if you do that or not. Ah! Okay, here we go. Mm. That brisket, for being a fast food restaurant, that brisket is a lot better than it should be. Now let's go for the hash browns. Mm. These hash browns, I don't know what it is about it. They have so much flavor. I made some potatoes last night. I just cut it up and put them in my inside of my soup. And they had no flavor whatsoever. These on the other hand, they have some browning going on and they just have so much flavor. I don't know how they make them even though yes, I used to work there and I would I wouldn't make personally the hash browns. I would I would make other things. I don't know what they put in these, but they are so delicious. Now with the rice. The rice is also very flavorful. And the thing that I find about rice is that even though it's a simple side dish, a lot of restaurants just don't get it right. They usually overcook them and it's too dry or they have no flavor. It's rare to find a restaurant that has really good rice. And I know that sounds random and you would think that rice is like the simplest thing. And when it comes to like certain type of rice, like white rice, that's really easy to pull off. There's nothing complicated about white rice. Most restaurants get it right. But when it comes to Mexican rice, I guess is what, what I should have clarified from the beginning. Mexican rice is a little bit, um, you know, it's different because it does have other ingredients in it and it's really difficult to find a restaurant that has a lot of flavor. So again, Bill Miller's does a really good job at making sure that their food is flavorful and I love that about them. Wow. I've been coming here for years and I never get tired of this stuff. 
I don't know what it is about it, but it's just delicious. Do you guys have a favorite restaurant that nobody knows about? Like for me, Bill Miller's is kind of the restaurant that, unless you're from the central Texas region, you've, you know, you've, unless you're from that region, you've never heard of it. Do you guys have a restaurant that nobody knows about that you love? Let me know in the comments. So when I finish the brisket and I'm left with just this, so essentially you have a little bit of potato left, a little bit of rice left, a little bit of beans and sauce left what i like to do is just put everything in this main container and then just mix everything up and then just eat it <laughs> i hope that doesn't sound gross i promise you it's really delicious I was the kid who actually liked cafeteria food growing up, so maybe that explains my weird taste in food. But I enjoyed enchilada day on Wednesdays at school. I enjoyed the pizza at the school. I really enjoyed the breakfast at the school actually as well. So call me weird if you want, that's fine. I actually liked school breakfast and school lunches in general. I don't know what they are now. I graduated high school back in 2011. So things might have changed, you know, since then, but I didn't mind eating at school, so. Empty box. That was delicious. I forgot to mention, they also include a bag of pickles and onions. I'm not into either pickles or onions, so I usually just throw this away. But if you like this, they do include it with every meal. Alrighty guys, so that pretty much does it for my food review slash food vlog today. I hope you enjoyed this Bill Miller's restaurant uh, review and I hope that you stick around for more videos. I will be uploading more. I'm sort of trying different things out if you might have noticed from the last couple of videos that I've uploaded. They were more theme park and travel related videos. This is more of a food review type of video. Um, so I am trying different things out. I will be doing, I believe, more travel videos coming soon. Um, but I will also put in some more food review videos. So if you guys are interested in that, please um, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate your help. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It definitely helps, um, like everybody else says, with the alg algorithm. And that is, from what I understand, definitely true. So definitely give this video a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching this content, let me know in the comments. Um, 
what's your favorite restaurant? What type of restaurant do you want me to visit next? Do you want me to kind of take you to other places that only you know a few people know about and that I've experienced in the past um, that you want to know about if you're visiting Texas? Let me know in the comments. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and until my next video. Bye guys.